Okay, and I'm recording. Uh, this game is a pretty wild one because of the com drop. The com drop is something I've been learning about recently, and oh man, here it is. The air factory is already coming down for the low IQ. And me and Spring are not ready for this, man. We have, it's happened once before. This is, this is the third game of a bunch of games that I played with low IQ and this opponent as well. They both work together. I believe they're both friends or were for these matches. And the, you will, you'll see a little bit of text between them, I think, during this game. But the big strat in this game is the com drop. Now, the com drop is just rushing up this transport, putting it on your commander, and then sending it. You send it right across the map. It gets sent, and then what happens is this new patch means that Commanders can't, can't destroy each other. So what you have is you have a pretty much invincible unit in the enemy base at a very early timing. And this, and you have to scout this as well. Scouting is one of the most important things I've heard to countering this. And here I am not, not doing that. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of an ugly scene of my scouts over here. Here at low IQ though, it's so quick. So quick. It's 1 minute 45 and the... The transport is gone. The transport is sent. You can see them just queuing straight to the uh, the enemy bases. Bar though, I really like the play from Bar. Bar's doing okay. One tank into into macro play, but oh, and one scout as well. Just a single scout from Bar. My scouts though, look at this. Two minutes, only just scouting. And what is this? Low IQ is already across the map, and I've already scouted it, which is why I've made this here nettle. Um, unfortunately, they don't fly right over my base like a dingus, so this nettle does absolutely nothing. <laughs> this nettle was a waste of time. And here I am making another one. Oh my gosh. This is not it. So here, like, it's clearly really hard for, uh, someone to, someone to really come up with this, right? Because you, oh, to, to, to counter this, you have to make units right away to, to destroy this. Now, this is lower IQ than I thought. I thought I did more damage. I was surprised that the tower did this much damage to him. Um, I guess with like I make three towers, that's zero HP on the the, the commander before the I can kill the commander with, or the commander can kill the towers. So it's so effective, and because of the new patch, right? You can't degun commanders, and now commanders are pretty much in the um, like unfightable as they go through the base in the early game, right? <laughs> You've got one tower, one blitz. Guess what can take out of one tower and one blitz? A single D-gun! That was one D-gun! I thought... Dude, that was that was intense. And now what happens is, if you do want to fight the commander, guess what happens? The commander blows up and blows up your commander. So if you fight commander on commander, which is the only unit you really have to burst, you have to just accept that your base is dead anyway. So, sure, I could have taken this trade. And the thing that's really powerful about this build as well, um, and then Spring wouldn't have had to take the trade. But then we've got the follow-up from the ally, which is these these tanks, right? And then what am I doing? I'm going to have to rebuild my base from nothing. I built it away from the tower, unfortunately, for me, and I'm going to be regretting that a lot in just a second. And here's Spring, also going to have a really, really awkward base. There's nothing for blue. Like, look at blue's economy. Look at it. It's nothing. It's literally this all game. And that's that's pretty crazy. But oh, oh no, oh no. They're using a transport for Barnal too. I this is this probably explains why we end up having a fight in a second. But there's one scout as well. That scout, by the way, made it across to my base before the commander did. So there was a there was an air scout that overtook the transport ship and had the commander on it when Low IQ did their original original job. I believe Low IQ is also someone called. I believe low IQ is also someone called Gloss. Um, I think they go by a couple alibis. I remember them mentioning it once in the lobby chat, but I didn't. I didn't manage to catch that. Here's the problem with this game, though. And there's some really funny pings from low IQ. Bar tries to come forward, right? And but Bar struggles to engage with the commander on commander fight. We can't degun each other anymore, as I still have not figured out. As you can tell, I'm expecting these to deal damage of some sort. Um, and this is really funny. Degun this. Don't so. Low IQ is going for the base destruction. Low IQ is all right. They can't interact with you unless they want to die too. So go kill their stuff. Go destroy all their buildings. Make sure they have zero buildings left. Bar's like, not really. We're fighting. Walk closer. You have to stand closer. It's GG. This I don't understand. I don't understand how 
standing further away would cause like what it would could it cause one to explode and not the other that would be crazy um could be interesting interactions there anyway that was a wild game shows the power of the commander drops and how we struggle to we struggle to fight against it i don't know i don't know if it's going to be a case of commander drop or b commander drops but I, I don't know if if there's like a build that can deal with this unless it's like a lot of towers or something early on i'm not sure anymore uh wild game and i wanted this for the history books because we um we need to we need to pay attention to this build <laughs> for sure um that's it